Hello everyone, a warm welcome to this new video. It's great to have you back with us. In today's video, I want to take a closer look at a new and cost-effective cross-line laser with you, specifically the B03CG by Hupar, which is sitting in front of us on the table. We'll explore what we can really expect from this affordable cross-line laser, what it has to offer, how it performs in practical use, and whether it's worth the investment, or if you might be better off investing a bit more. We'll dive into these questions in today's video. So without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's get started right after the intro. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel for free and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. You can find the current prices for this device in the video description below. Thanks for your support and now let's get into it after the intro. The B03CG by Hupar, a compact, green, and very affordable cross-line laser with several features. We'll take a detailed look at what we can really expect from this device and how it performs in practical use in today's video. To waste no time, I'd say let's dive straight into the contents of the package. Let's see what comes with the product. From the product box, as you can see, we receive a small compact plastic carrying case where the laser is well protected and can be stored and transported much more conveniently. I'd say let's also take a look inside the case and as you can see, the cross line laser is now inside. The package includes the actual device, the B03CG laser by Hupar, with the corresponding mounting bracket. Additionally, it comes with a small USB power adapter, a USB Type-C cable for charging, not to forget the user manual in multiple languages, including German and English. Also included are green laser target cards. In addition, there are optional accessories available, such as a laser receiver to extend the range or a bracket for fine adjustments of the laser. It's worth mentioning that the standard package is completely sufficient to fully utilize the laser in practice. Only those who want to expand the laser's functionality should consider the optional accessories. Now, I'd say let's take a closer look at the actual cross-line laser and start with a first impression. Starting with its external appearance, I have to admit that the laser is not as cheaply made as one might assume. Upon closer examination, you can see that it's entirely made of plastic, but there are no sharp edges or plastic residue, no varying gaps, and everything is in black. This means the entire housing is fully rubberized, making it extremely slip resistant, which is a positive aspect in terms of handling. Furthermore, the laser is quite compact and, as you can see, weighs only about 540 grams, including the battery. In this regard, I must say that the B03CG by Hupar makes a pretty good first impression in terms of its external appearance. For this reason, I'd say let's now take a detailed look at the laser to see what features it really has to offer. Let's start at the bottom. As you can see, there are four minimalistic rubber feet on the bottom to ensure the laser has a stable base on smooth surfaces like the floor. Additionally, in the center, there's the typical one quarter inch thread, which allows us to mount the laser either directly on a tripod or on the bracket. As mentioned earlier, this small bracket is included in the package, and the laser can easily be mounted on it using the one quarter inch thread, enabling horizontal rotation of the laser and other mounting options. This means on the underside of the bracket, we find another small one quarter inch and a large five eighth inch thread. And don't forget, on the back, there are also two large magnets and a groove, allowing us to attach the bracket directly to metallic surfaces without a tripod. In practice, there's nothing to complain about in this regard, and the bracket naturally enables a wide range of applications. Only for those who want to maximize the laser's capabilities should consider looking at this fine adjustment bracket. This optional accessory, as the name suggests, allows for fine adjustment of the laser, this means the laser is mounted on the front, and with all those green controls, it's possible to move or rotate the laser on different axes. For example, I can raise and lower it by several centimeters here. Through this axis, I can move it forward and backward, or rotate it very finely using these two controls. It's equally possible to use this bracket when, for example, I can't use a tripod. 
This means I can clip the bracket onto something, or I can even mount it on the ceiling and attach the laser from below. So, as mentioned before, this bracket allows for fine adjustment of the laser and, in my opinion, is more geared towards special or unique cases where this bracket is no longer sufficient. That covers the mounting options of the laser. We'd stopped at the bottom. Right under the thread, you'll find the compartment, or rather, the battery cover. There's actually not much to complain about here because the battery compartment cover will rarely need to be opened. For that purpose, on the left side, there's a small concealed USB Type-C port, allowing you to charge the device from the outside. However, as soon as you need to open the cover, you'll quickly realize that it can be quite challenging to do with just your bare hands. This means the latch could have been more user-friendly. You'll either fiddle with it for a while or use a pointed object right away. Inside the compartment, you'll find a large 19.24 watt-hour lithium-ion battery, which can also be charged via USB Type-C port. Due to its large capacity, it provides a runtime of a little over 6 hours, as I've observed in practice. Not to forget, due to all the rubber covers over the ports, the device is IP54 certified, making it splash-resistant. So far, so good for the external features. Now, let's take a look at the built-in technology. It's a self-leveling 360-degree cross-line laser that projects two vertical and one horizontal laser line in total. The projected laser lines have a wavelength of around 505 to 520 nanometers, which means they're green in color. This has the advantage that the green laser lines are significantly more visible outdoors compared to red laser lines. In practice, I tested the laser outdoors under different lighting conditions. Under normal lighting conditions, meaning daylight without direct sunlight, I achieved ranges of around 10 meters where the laser lines on the wall were still easily visible. Under direct sunlight, the visibility of the laser lines also depends on the surface. In such conditions, I would estimate a range of around 5 meters, and the ranges are much greater indoors. The manufacturer claims a maximum range of 25 meters, and I would definitely agree with that in indoor settings, especially relatively dim environments. The 25 meter range is realistic indoors. For those looking for even greater range, consider taking a look at the optional laser receiver because it allows for significantly larger distances. I've also extensively tested this in practice for you. To use the laser receiver, we simply need to switch the laser to pulse mode. That means pressing the P button once, then activating the receiver, and it's ready to pick up the laser line. The stated range is around 60 meters, and I tested it up to 50 meters with no issues. The only thing that bothers me a bit, or something that could definitely be improved, is the built-in display. The backlight is rather useless, but the laser receiver makes quite a bit of noise. In fact, you could do without the display because the auditory signal is so loud that you won't miss it. <coughs> Lastly, and most importantly, this is a self-leveling laser. This means that even if it's slightly tilted, the laser lines remain nicely horizontal and it works within a tolerance of plus or minus 4 degrees. This is generally sufficient for practical use. According to the manufacturer's specifications, it has an accuracy of plus or minus 3 millimeters over 10 meters. I've also tested this in practice at a distance of 5 meters. That means the deviation should not exceed 1.5 millimeters in this case. After projecting a laser line in one direction, then rotating the laser 180 degrees and noting the deviation, as you can see in the video, the deviation at 5 meters is almost invisible, definitely under 1.5 millimeters, confirming that the laser has high accuracy with very minimal deviation. So, all in all, it can definitely be said that the Hupar B03CG is an excellent value for money package, offering numerous features and the functionality can be significantly expanded with optional accessories. My recommendation is definitely for anyone in search of an affordable price-performance cross-line laser. With this device, you can hardly go wrong. And that's a wrap for this video. Now, I'm curious to hear your feedback. What do you think of this budget-friendly laser? Feel free to share your thoughts and maybe even your experiences in the comments below. I'm looking forward to your feedback.
So, if you enjoyed the video, please show it with a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for free and activate the notification bell to ensure you don't miss any future videos. You can find the current prices in the video description below. Thank you for your support, and until next time, take care. Goodbye.